Hello YouTube, and today we're doing a video on how to make a flag. Well, I did the um, Australian flag because, well, I'm Australian, so, yeah. Uh, it actually animates, as you see. I'm not going to render the animation out. Yeah, I will when I'll put the um, finished version on uh, YouTube. But as you see, it started, it sucks, but then it gets better. Okay, I'm um, just gonna. Sorry, saved. So, um, start with a new. Just start with a new file. Um, new front. Uh, make sure you're in orthographic mode. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Shift A, mesh, plane. Rotate on the X axis 90 degrees. Now you're going to size it up on the x-axis because it's got to be a rectangle. Now you can go however much you want. I'm just going, that, that's alright to me. Um, I'm just going to press shade, shade smooth over here because I would have to do that later anyway but might as well do it now. Okay uh, this works on the uh, cloth simulator you just go into the physics tab cloth, just add it in and to uh, do the cloth animation you just press ALT A and press ALT A at the moment it's just falling so uh, there's a number of things we have to do first uh, the way the cloth uh, simulator works, it works on how many vertices you have at the moment we only have four so it would be very blocky. I don't, I don't even think it would move at all. But anyway, okay. Uh, we've got to add some more vertices in. You can either do this by pressing W and subdivide it a lot of times. Or you can press Ctrl R until that purple line comes up and scroll up on your mouse wheel. Uh, seems bad enough. Let's do the same on this side. And there, I don't know how many cuts that is. Um, over here it says I did 20 on the last one, but the other one, I don't know. But uh, I did that, so I get, like, cubes. Okay, now that we have our... Uh, a lot of vertices, we... Uh, yeah, we need to pin a... We need to pin one, like, uh, one side. Otherwise, we'll just constantly fall down. So the way we can do that is you have to select uh, a, a side to pin. I'm going to press Alt right click. Do it again. There we go. And select the side. Alt right click just selects the line of vertices. And then I'm going to go over here to Object Data. I think it's Object Data. Yeah, Object Data. And um, add add and vertex groups. Press the plus sign, and then go Assign. So now that this this group of vertices here this yeah this group of vertices here will be called um will be under group. Now I go back to the cloth, the physics tab, under pinning, just click there, go group. And uh let's give this a go, shall we? Just press Alt A to do the animation. As you see it's going through itself, it's not blowing, but we can fix that quickly. So uh, go down here to Cloth Collision, this is still in the Physics tab, go to Self Collision, let's try this out, this will just make it collide with itself, as you see. Now we need to add some wind, so Shift A, Force Field, Wind. Now I'm going to grab it, move it on the X axis, about here, I'm going to rotate it on the Y axis, I think it is. Yeah, rotate it on the Y axis, 90 degrees. And now, as you see, it's dead on now. That's not good because if it's dead on, then it just. If it's dead on, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't affect it. So you have to rotate it on the Z axis. I did about 3 degrees then, if that. So, um, 
yeah let's uh, view front also let's pump up the strength let's say I don't know 650 so alt A so oh, hang on hang on hang on uh, in the back into when you have the, the what's he flag the rectangle selected um, under mass change that up I'm gonna put mine at point zero two I'm gonna put my structural down a one my bending down a zero point three my spring down a one and let's see that now alt a to test it out and as you see it's blowing actually that looks pretty good so um uh, let's just quickly add a modifier subdivision surface pop it up to two this just makes it look better well in my opinion it makes it look better anyway so now that we have our uh, like flag simulation you need to add a texture to it so what we're going to do is just click up here split these windows go into UV image editor tab into edit mode select everything by pressing A press U to unwrap and I'm just gonna see if this is but it's not okay no it's not okay I'm gonna press A to select all and rotate it until it's lined up otherwise the flag would be now it's lined up okay just click over here and send it back over go into material, add new, turn that on specularity to zero, go on to texture, add new, uh, click here and under type go image or movie, go down here where it says image, go open, mine's on desktop, it's my strain flag, just open that up, under mapping where it says coordinates generated you want to change that from generated to UV so now I'm going to tab out of edit mode there alt A so yeah there's the cloth animation I'm going to pause it at, was it 52 it looks actually quite good at 52 so yeah I'm going to grab this lamp view top that grab the sun grab it over there rotate it on the I don't know, just is that right? Okay, sun lamp, not spot lamp. My head's off in the fairies or whatever today. Right here on the z-axis, around, so it's like going through the flag. Grab it on the z-axis some more. View top, right head on the z-axis, so it's pointing to like the middle of the flag move it back rotate on the x-axis um, so it's going through the flag rotate on the z-axis some more you don't have you can be you can put how much detail you want to the lights doesn't matter I just want to get it roughly good rotate this one on the z-axis so it goes through a different angle I want to turn the energy down a bit to 0.57 I'm going to give it a blue tinge. So let's render this image out, see what it looks like. Okay, got to fix up this camera first. If you front. Okay, I'm going to press Alt R, Alt G. This clears the rotation and the um, the rotation and location. So now I press G Y, move it over here. Ready to rotate on the X axis 90 degrees. Press zero to go into um, camera mode. Press G, middle mouse click, move it out. I'm gonna put the flag a bit higher. So I'm gonna press G Z. When I got my camera selected, rotate the camera on the x-axis. Looking up at the flag, and let's check this out. And there you go. There is the Australian flag. Of course, you could do this with other countries' flags. But this is just Australian flag. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, 
the po the the pole for the flag was just a um what's it called? It was just a cylinder and so was the rope. The they were just sized down or sized up. I'm pretty sure you can figure it out yourself. So I don't want to go fifteen minutes. So um oh should have should have some time. Let's just quickly shift A, add my sh cylinder. Go to that five. Grab it on the x axis, move it over there. Size down. Size it on the z axis ten times. I'm gonna size it five times. Size it on the z axis five times. Now grab it, z axis, move it down some. Now if you front, uh, smooth, add new material, so it's just going to be a white material. Uh, shift A, add mesh, cylinder again, size it down, this time a lot more. Cause this is going to be like a rope, or a string, or whatever you want to call it. Hey, rotate on the y axis. Grab it, put it up there. Tab into edit mode. Turn off limit the face to selection. C, select the bottom vertices. E to extrude. Go up top here, control R. Put one in there, bend this out. Oh, click, click, G, move it more. Of course, you could probably turn, put a, uh, what's he, a cloth simulator onto that as well. It'd probably make the string look better, the rope look better, but of course, it'd be more costing to your computer. I'm just going to extrude this down, grab it, chuck it over here somewhere, rotate on the x-axis so it comes out f well, should come out flat now mind just rotate it just by pressing R and press E to extrude it down and grab it, move it over here control R click there control R control R Now I'm going to turn on my face select mode. Press B, select all these faces here in the middle. X, delete faces. And go back to vertices select mode. Select these top vertices, grab it, move it up to there. Control R, grab it. Just putting a little, and there we go. Just sit smooth. Now render image. There you go. There is the flag with the flagpole and the like string. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, just yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.